Hey, what's up guys? So I am just playing around with my Wondershare Filmora. Like I just updated to the latest version and they have like a lot of new cool filters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep um, embedding all these, just the cool ones I think. Like you got one here that's kind of a, a fire one here. Let me decrease the volume here. That's like pretty cool, but I probably I'll probably use that one the first one. So I'm just gonna gonna continue to roll this uh, video and keep inputting all those filters. I mean, there's like look at this, look up here. There's like tons and tons and tons of filters. Some really cool ones too. Even like check out this like sketch here. Like that's that's kind of cool. Uh, anyways, let me just continue this video. Trying to make it like so boring. I guess uh, let me just pick up this whole entire tripod. <sighs> Give you a view. I don't want to show you too much because it's a mess in here. But here's my green screen. I have been experimenting that with uh, Wondershare Filmora. Pretty cool. And the only thing is they have some like really cool effects, like bombs and stuff like that. But they want you to buy um, their like After Effects package for that. And I don't know, I might, I might buy it, maybe I won't, uh, but we'll see. So anyways, and what I did with the green screen here, what I, um, I just basically used tacks, and I just like tacked it up. You could also use paper too, if you have like green paper, like check this out over here. See that green paper on there? They're, they're like huge pieces of paper, you can just go to Walmart or Target and they're like 90 or like, actually they're like 79, 69 or 79 cents. All you gotta do is buy six of those, um, those like lime green uh, paper uh, poster boards and you just plug them together and, the, and it works just as perfect, just as good as this actual uh, curtain green screen. Um, I gotta continue to roll this, uh, this video, so. Uh, what else can I show you? I don't want to go over there because it is really, really messy over there. Um, I show you some of my equipment here. I have some soft boxes here. There's actually one that was like right here. Uh, what, what I'm doing right here, actually, I just did another video on basically like airplane your uh, your MacBook to your HD TV, and I'm using this like little. It's kind of like a screen mirroring device, or for uh, iPhones, you basically call it AirPlay. You don't call it screen mirroring. But I have a, I have a lot of, I've done a lot of videos on this because I have tons of those devices. I have like Chromecast, like the Amazon Fire Stick, the TV Stick, the Ro I have Roku device, um, the Netgear. I have something called Screen Beam, and you can basically whatever is on your phone, you can project it onto a monitor or any TV doesn't matter if it's a smart TV or a non-smart TV uh, especially good for like if you want to show like presentations like on the big screen and stuff like that here is a umbrella light here um, let me move over here let me show you what I got over here I uh, hear some other things that I still haven't like reviewed yet here is a uh, Samsung uh, Gear Fit 2 watch I've got this when I bought my Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and I haven't like even opened it up yet. And actually, I'm supposed to be returning my Samsung Galaxy Note 7, if you guys are familiar with this, because of all the uh, explosions and uh, stuff like that. I would just have to... I'm recording off my Samsung Galaxy S7 right now. Uh, let's see here, what else can I show you? Um, uh, maybe I can show you here. Let me, let me look over here. Uh, check this out. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the um, the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, this bad boy here, it has like uh, dual cameras, and this phone is awesome. And one of the best features on it is something called portrait mode. Because what it does, it gives you that um, like bulk effect when you take photos. It kind of looks like almost like the quality is just as good as like a, I mean, not as good, but it looks, I can't tell a difference. I'm not no professional photographer, but it gives that blurry background, um, especially for like portraits. If you're taking uh, photos of people, stuff like that, it looks awesome. Like, let me give you an example. I just printed some out here. And if you take a picture with the uh, 7 Plus um, without the uh, portrait mode, it'll look like this. But when you take it with the portrait mode, it basically blurs the background and everything in the foreground is nice and clear. 
So it's awesome, especially when you actually um, take photos, um, get portrait photos, and actually like keep and stuff like that. It's really, really uh, awesome. Actually, I just bought a DSLR. I got a Canon T6i. Uh, it's actually in my bag. It's downstairs though. But I just got that. I just bought a couple lenses that basically gives that like blur background. But those lenses are like like eight nine hundred dollars a freaking lens and i don't know how to use a dslr I, i'm recording off i record my videos using my uh my uh, cell phones because it's just easier anyways hopefully all those filters are about done um <sighs> all right i'm just going to end it here hopefully the vendor um all the filters are done so i can like make it look, um, I don't know, whatever. All right, peace out.